hello everyone welcome to my video so in this particular video i'll talk about something a very good platform called as neurolab which is just launched few days back on the occasion of teachers day by the ineuron company so here uh, why this platform i like the most uh, that only reason is that that majorly i remember my days that whenever i was having that i3 kind of a laptop yes uh, at the time when i was doing the bachelors so at that time i remember that when i was solving one project of machine learning it it took me so much of time to train that model because of my low uh, processor speed right so after that obviously in my masters i i just picked up a good uh, configure configuration type of laptop but at that point of time also i remember that when i was doing the doing the deep learning projects uh, when i was dealing with the images Uh, so at that point of time again i was facing the similar kind of issue and then i moved to the google collab uh, at that point of time also google collab is also not giving me the uh, quantifiable results which i want and i want the training to be much faster and then i switched to the google collab pro so that was the journey uh, of specifically talking about machine learning because uh, i am from that domain so i know very much about th that particular thing apart from that i am sure that for other uh, domains as well a high configuration laptop is the must need but for sure as a student when we are learning from any of the colleges we don't have that much money to buy some laptop which is of uh, 1 lakh or 1.5 lakh right and it doesn't suits best for us as well so this is something which amazed me why because here if you will see it's a platform just let me show it to you so if i will you if you will go to this website called as ineron.ai and inside that you need to first of all sign up if you don't have an account please sign up that after that what you can do is that uh, you can either go directly to the neurolab tab or you can go to my courses and inside that also you will be having the option of neurolab so what you can do is that for example here i am opening the jupiter lab so you just need to wait for the first time it might take a uh, few amount of time but after that it will open so now it get open just uh, before making this video i was just doing one of the uh, one of the project implementation and i am very much amazed that when i was doing the hyperparameter tuning for the random forest algorithm it gives me the result much faster as comparable to the google collab as well so let me show you so this is the file which i have created and this is the data set which i am using so for this video i am just trying to show you the uh, well written code and i am just trying to tell you that okay this is something which you can also try off when you are struggling uh, for other platforms just like the way i talk i talk about my struggle right so here if you will see this is a wine quality red data set and here the business problem was that they want to predict the quality of the wine given this kind of features that we have like fixed acidity volatile acidity citric acid and so on until the value of the alcohol so on the basis of these features what we want is that we want to do the prediction so what i did is that very simple thing importing first of all all the required libraries just taking the data set defining the description of that finding out the null values the way we used to do after that this is a correlation matrix which we which we will be able to get right what's the purpose of that if suppose there are features which is having a very high correlation factor we can com completely remove those features we can take some uh, single feature for that because if there is some features which is having a very high correlation coefficient at that point of time it simply signifies that it is indicating a similar information and uh it's responsible for similar kind of uh, information giving to the prediction of that particular model so what we can do is that we can simply take single feature and remove all other features right after that this is something where we are just uh finding out the stats for the for the data that we have after that here if you will see we are just trying to remove the outliers uh so here we all know that using z score as well we will be able to remove the outliers because the value for which the value of z is greater than 3 it means that there is a huge possibility that those are the outliers right after that what we can do is that we can just simply define the features uh on the x data 
and the target value is among the y data so here if you will see this is the features that we have and this is the uh, what i can say uh, the final outcome that we have here if you will see i am just trying to split my data into training and testing with a test size of 20 uh, percent which is by default now as we all know that whenever we are applying a random forest classifier it's a, it's a, under bagging technique and symbol technique now here if you will see i am passing one hyperparameter called number of estimators means how many number of decision trees i want to work inside that particular random forest now i am training my model now if you will see here everything so let me try to show you again so every particular thing if you will see here it is running within seconds i am quite amazed right here if you will see we will be able to get the value of removal of outliers head then training right then prediction then accuracy score now here if you will see on this step what we are trying to do is that so when we are calling this random forest classifier it is working on the by default uh, parameters that we have right so whatever be the by default parameters it will take you can just check on sklearn documentation do documentation what are the default parameters which this random forest classifier will take whenever you're calling this function but what i want is that i want to optimize or the results by using optimization of choosing a proper hyperparameters and that we can do either using a randomized search cv or using a grid search cv i'm not going in that much depth towards the explanation because here my purpose is to show you the platform is to aware about this platform that yes now for data scientist people we do have this amazing platform which we can utilize for our project needs right so here now if you will see i can just it's done it's done so it is just using the randomized search cv uh, a tree will be created now i can go below because here we are passing the 100 number of uh, uh, estimators estimators that that's why we are getting so much values and this is a bigger tree if you want you can just increase the fig size here if i want to do the using the same thing with the grid search cv what i can do is that i can pass the parameters inside that for example the number of estimators either it should be 5 10 50 100 120 and 150 criteria we all know we do have two different criteria either we can go with the guinea or we, we can go with the entropy to find the impurity inside my features feature data when we are creating a decision tree so here if you will see if i will run this if i will just try to click on this and just try to fit my data on the training set now here we can see so this particular part or this particular task usually takes a lot of time at least when i was doing with the help of a google collab or uh, inside my local system Training using the grid search CV usually takes a lot of time, specifically talking about this uh, random forest classifier whenever I used to apply that. Even for sure when you will increase this number of uh, features, it will increase the time, but here it is doing a very, very well done job. If you want, you can easily uh, find out the best parameters by uh, you, which grid search CV will be able to give to me just by analyzing the training data that we are passing here. We can see the scores, we can see the accuracy, and then we can see the cross validation score, what we are getting here. So here, if you will see the complete pipeline, specifically talking about that hyperparameter tuning using the randomized search CV or the grid search CV, we will be able to do within seconds here, right? At the time of grid search CV, obviously when you increase the number of parameters, it might increase the time also, but it's not that much huge as what I told you that it was taking in my uh, Jupyter notebook in the local system or in the Google Collab system. So I would just advise to everyone, just go to this platform, have a look into it. And if you're facing any sort of trouble, do let me know in the comment section. I'll for sure try to see it and we'll see uh, what's this. So it's just a very new platform and whatsoever things I have explored so far, I find it pretty amazing, right? Apart from that, uh, on the day of uh, Teacher's Day, we as a team have decided to uh, whatsoever the co new courses are coming up in iron on to give an offer of 30 percent so any course if you buy on from this 5th of september to 11th of september you will get a 30 percent off if you will apply a coupon code priya 30 so for example here we do have a lot of new courses which are coming up you can go and you can just check for example these are the new programs uh, which are there right uh, for example, here it's an industry-ready project. If I will go there 
and if i suppose want to buy this particular course and if i will apply that coupon code priya30 you will get that 30% discount even uh, this particular thing you can see on the above screen as well right so this is what i want to talk about in this particular session hope you really, really liked it and with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone do let me know the feedback of the neuro lab in the comment section bye bye